beautiful ones, it's Francesca of HeyFrankMade.com. So today we're going to be making our very own raw and organic lip balm as well as a lip scrub that we'll get into later on in the video. Why are we making our own lip balm? Well, a lot of the store-bought ones that we tend to go scoop up are loaded with synthetic chemicals that companies throw in there to make sure that they have a longer shelf life. Now, while the companies get to cut costs by keeping these chemicals in them, they're also cutting into our health because, you know, when you apply a lip balm to your skin, you're licking your lips all day and taking in all those chemicals. So who wants that? We definitely don't. So with our mission statement of leading cleaner and healthier lives, we are going to whip up our own fresh batch using only clean and organic ingredients. So here's what you will need. The two butters that we're gonna use are gonna be raw and organic cocoa butter, which is what's going to keep our lips super soft, raw and organic shea butter, which is what's going to help us maintain moisture throughout the day. The beeswax is what's gonna bond all of our ingredients together. The unrefined extra virgin coconut oil is what we're gonna use in addition to the shea butter to help maintain moisture and to seal it so that we don't have to keep reapplying it throughout the day. And finally, we're gonna be using Jamaican black castor oil, which is what's going to be our all-natural gloss. It's what's going to give your lips that cute shine. Also going to need a measuring cup, which is what we're going to place in the middle of our pot so that you don't get any beeswax and butters stuck into the edges of your pot. And it just makes the process move a lot faster and a lot easier. So we're going to throw all our ingredients in here. And we're going to need a grater because I don't like to leave ingredients in heat too long because I feel like it zaps out all of the nutrients that we're pretty much looking for. So if we grate the butters and grate the beeswax, it allows them to melt a lot faster so we don't have to keep them in the pot that long. So the first thing we're gonna do is grate one ounce of cocoa butter into our measuring cup, which is equivalent to roughly two tablespoons. <laughs> Now that we've grated our two tablespoons of cocoa butter into our measuring cup, it's time to grate two tablespoons of shea butter. Now shea butter is a little bit hard. You can't exactly grate it because it's a very, very soft consistency. So what we're gonna do is just break off enough to fill two tablespoons worth and then just kind of drop them into the measuring cup. has two tablespoons of cocoa butter, two tablespoons of shea butter, now it's time to add two tablespoons of beeswax. We've grated all three and added two tablespoons of each into our measuring cup, it's time to add our oils. First we'll add one tablespoon of coconut oil. And now we'll add one tablespoon of Jamaican black castor oil. So now that we have all of our ingredients in our measuring cup, it's time to turn our pot full of water on so that we can bring it to a boil. water is finally at a boil, it's time to put our measuring cup and all of our ingredients in the center of the pot. We're going to let it simmer for a couple of minutes and then we're going to put our spoon and start stirring it to kind of help the ingredients melt a little bit faster. melted down less than two minutes later. We're gonna take a rag and take the measuring cup out of the center of the pot and let it cool for a couple minutes. And now that the mixture is all cooled off, it's just time to pour. 
I got these off of Amazon. I bought a pack of 12 for about five bucks. Of course, all the information of all the ingredients I've used, every single tool will be in the description box. Not an even cuter note, aside from the lip balm tubes, I also bought the small jars just to kind of give you guys options however you want to pour it in. So I got a pack of 12 off of Amazon. This was five bucks as well. And now, just 15 to 20 minutes of cooling time later, you have your own batch of raw and organic lip balm. Tell me that isn't adorable. Amazing. That's all there is to it. Now let's jump into the lip scrub. Now the scrub part is really, really easy. The entire point is to really just get rid of the dead skin that's sitting on top of your lips, which is what gets hard, which is what gets dry, and when you're outside, you're constantly licking your lips, trying to slop it off. We're gonna take organic dark brown sugar, which is infused with molasses so that the grains aren't harsh on your skin and it's really, really moisturizing. Two spoonfuls, or however many you wanna add, it's up to you, because you can keep it stored here for daily use. And then you're gonna add an oil of your choice which is gonna help the grains bond so that it can turn into a scrub. I like jojoba oil because it's the oil that's closest to that of our natural oil, but you can actually really use any oil you want. You can use olive oil, you can use coconut oil, you can add honey. It's really up to you and what you know your skin likes. So you just add it to the mixture. You stir it around. And just like that, you have your own scrub. You can actually use this on your body, you can use it on your face, you can use it on your lip. Wherever you feel you have to get rid of dead skin. Great for your elbows as well. And there you go, that's all there is to it. I use the scrub every night before going to bed. The best part of that is that you're going to use the scrub, use it and exfoliate your lips, get all that dead skin off. And then you're going to apply your do-it-yourself lip balm for that replenished moisture. And then you go to bed. And when you wake up in the morning, you're gonna be super soft, super supple, clean, no dead skin, and you're gonna be able to retain a lot more moisture throughout the day. And that's pretty much it for the do-it-yourself lip balm, the do-it-yourself lip scrub, all natural, all organic, all raw, all affordable, and super quick and easy to make. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Let me know what kinds of things you guys are whipping up in the kitchen. Leave me feedback in the comments, rate, subscribe. You guys know the whole YouTube spiel. And I'll see you guys next week with yet another do-it-yourself beauty tutorial. I'm thinking we're gonna either do an all-natural deodorant or maybe an all-natural hair removal trick. It's up to you guys, actually. I'll let you guys decide which video you guys want next. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that on Tuesday, I will be doing a live broadcast on younow.com. I'll be tweeting the link at HeyFriendHey. At 8 o'clock Tuesday, December 4th, and it will be a live broadcast where I can answer all of your do it yourself beauty, hair, fitness, nutrition questions in real time. So definitely come hang out with me. So I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So don't forget, Tuesday, December 4th at 8 o'clock, a live broadcast on younow.com.